So good morning, everyone, and uh, most welcome to Bajan. Um, I've known Bajan for ages, it seems, but it's only 12 years, I think, since he joined the Interfaith Council. Uh, he's been a good friend. He's, a, he's been a, a resident of Wolverhampton for the last uh, over 60 years. And um, he's been a pillar of the community in many ways. He's been very much involved with the police, with the people in partnership with the Race Equality Council, with the Community Health Council, a real pillar, as I say, of, of the community and a, a very leading member of the Sikh, the big Sikh community which we have in Wolverhampton. So welcome, Bajan, and over to you. <laughs> Good morning, my brothers and sisters. My name is Bajan Singh Devsi. And I'm grateful for this opportunity to share my thoughts of celebrating Sikhism in my family with you today. There are many festivals in Sikhism, majority linked with the 10 gurus and called Gurpurbs. They usually celebrate in the Gurdwara. People go to Gurdwara, exchange greetings, congratulate and wish happy Gurpurb to each other. I have chosen to talk to you about 553rd birth anniversary of Guru Nanak Dev Ji, the founder the first guru, the founder of Sikhism, which was on this year, 8th of November. Before I, before I um, do that, I think it'd be useful if I give you some background to my religion. I'm very fortunate that my family taught me to respect all human beings as equal based on the ethos of Sikhism, which is Manaski Jat Sabbek Pashandu, meaning recognize all human beings regardless of their caste, religion, color, gender, disability, etc., as equal. The word Sikh comes from Sanskrit, Asian language of India, Shish, meaning a learner, a student, or a disciple, etc. And he should never stop this learning, thus being humble and not arrogant. Sikhism is the fifth largest in the world. It started with the first Guru Nanak Dev Ji, who was born in 1469. He undertook four Sphema four in, 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 in all directions. Uh, for example, North, South, East, West, Tibet, China, Mecca, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Iraq, Iran, Turkey, Rome, Sri Lanka, and many other countries as well, covering more than 30,000 kilometers over 24 years to different parts of the world with his lifelong companion, Pai Mardana Ji, a Muslim. The spiritual explorers preached about one God and ethos of quality for all his children, regardless of them their background. He never tried to convert anybody to his belief. In fact, he gave his universal message that if you are a Hindu, be a good Hindu. And if you are a Muslim, be a good Muslim. He also said, before being a Hindu or a Muslim, be a good human being. Guru Nanak Ji's message was to unite the humanity, not to divide it on the basis of religion, caste, color, wealth, gender, or state, etc. He taught his followers to respect every religion and never to criticize any. I believe in one God who may be worshipped in different ways by different beliefs. Guru Nanak Dev Ji said in the Mool Mantra, the first hymn in Japji Sahib begins, There is one God, eternal truth is his name, creator of all things, fearing nothing, at enmity with nothing, timeless is his image, he is beyond birth and death, he is infinite, self-eliminating, he is realized by the Guru's grace, he was there before time, he was at present at the earliest age, is present now and shall be forevermore. It is clear from Guru Granth Sahib Ji, the Holy Scripture of Sikhism, to incorporate the preaching of both Hindus and Muslim saints. Guru Granth Sahib Ji is the central religious text of Sikhism, considered by Sikhs to be the final sovereign guru of the religion. It has a text of 1,430 pages, compiled and composed during the period of Sikh gurus from 1469 to 1708. It's written in Gurmukhi script in various dialects languages, for example, Persian, Urdu, Marathi, Punjabi, etc. Before Guru Gwen Singh, the 10th Guru passed away, he affirmed the sacred text as his successor, elevating it to the Guru Granth Sahib Ji. The text remains the holy scripture of the Sikhs, regarded as the teachings of the 10 Gurus. The role of the Guru Granth Sahib Ji is a source or guide of prayer is pivotal to its Sikh worship. The basic teaching of Sikhism are Nam Japo, recite the name of God, 
kilt karo work hard by honest means and ban ke shako share your earning and give to charity a sikh is required to do three fold service man mentally tan physically dan financially sikhism also believes in mastering the mind to control five vices which are calm lust or success, excessive sexual desire crowd anger temper low excessive desire for wealth or greed four moh worldly attachment five hankar pride arrogance sikhism believes in 8 million 4000 life forms on this planet alone half live in water and other half live in air and dry land therefore we should treat all forms of life as our family ancestors relatives and should respect and look after them and not to kill them therefore only a vegetarian food is served in a gurdwara and sikhs are prohibited to eat meat also sikhs are not allowed to consume any kind of intoxication like drugs tobacco and alcohol etc what religion says and what people do you are quite aware if you go to a sikh wedding party or a birthday party you will find alcohol different kind of alcohol free is flowing like a river and you can have a dip in it as much as one the religion doesn't allow that so the aim of life is to get out of the cycle of life and death and rebirth from 8 million 400000 life form through good karma gurudwara is a sikh place of worship meaning doorway to the guru guru means the one who brings light and to darkness when you visit a gurudwara you are expected to cover your head and take your shoes off before entering the prayer hall and sit on the floor if you are unable to do so seating is provided at the back a person under the influence of any kind of intoxication will not be allowed in the gurudwara everyone is welcome to visit gurudwara you may not know that the foundation stone of harimandar sahib also known as golden temple like my friend just mentioned he visited there the holy shrine of sikhism the foundation stone was laid by mia mirji a muslim saint you will not find another example like this in the world there are four gates to this shrine welcoming people from all backgrounds directions castes and religions etc now back to celebrations as we only get christian holiday in this country so most of the sikh festivals are celebrated over the weekend in a gurdwara the celebration of 553rd birth anniversary of gurunanak dev ji would start on friday morning families would visit the gurdwara to offer greetings and wish happy gurpurb to each other they would also distribute indian sweets to each other and light lamps candles at home and at the gurdwara after the morning prayer on friday akhand paath would start at 9 o'clock akhand paath is a continuous reading of guru granth sahib ji from beginning to the end finishing on sunday morning readers priests members of the congregation who could be male or female undertaking a two hour shift to, to uh, complete this reading members of congregation members of congregation can come and go any time as they please pay respect sit on the floor listen to the part and then have langar and go home 24 hours a day a khand part would be completed on sunday at 9 am annually in commemoration of guru nanak dev ji's birth anniversary birth anniversary um, a nagar kirtan nagar kirtan uh, is uh, takes place a process procession through the streets of the city there would be many floors the first floor one will have guru granth sahib ji on it and the congregation will go behind it all places of worship are invited to participate in this nagar kirtan there is a nagar kirtan process procession taking place on 20th november this sunday starting from jikan gurdwara varmuni road at 11 o'clock and completing work to 2 2 pm you are most welcome to join us the route journey of nagar kirtan will cover about 3 miles starting from jikan across varmuni road into lonesburg avenue and turn into gurdwara road east and continue to delhi road and from delhi road the bromley street upper billy street goldton park and back at jikan there are five planned stops of this procession for a few minutes at different places of worship on its route because sikhism believe in all believe and supports every religion and respects them so first stop on this journey will be st john's methodist church 558 wolverhampton road east the second one jamia masjid mosque 
in Wanderers Avenue or Delhi Road, at Sri Guru Ravidas Temple, 181 Delhi Road, Guru Nanak's Sikh Gurdwara, Duncan Street, Bristol, in Bromley Street, and fifth one, Guru Tegu Hatha, Sikh Gurdwara, at Villiers Street, Wolverhampton. The procession will keep moving on a slow pace with occasional stops allowing congregation to pay their respect to Guru Granth Sahib Ji on the main floor guided by the stewards. There would also be food stores on the pavement providing free snack, drinks, and other Asian food provided by Sikh community. Nagar Kirtan would finish at GKN with prayer. Most musicians and will sing hymns to the congregation. There will be speeches about Guru Nanak Dev Ji and stories about his life and preachings. At the end, everyone will have langar, free food in the kitchen, langar, and go home. Sikh prayer always ends with a Nanak Naam, Chardi Kala, Tere Pane, Sarvat Dapala. What it says means is, O Nanak, by the grace of God's name, one attains higher level of spiritual status, and by the bill and blessing of God, I pray for the welfare and goodwill of all beings. Thank you very much for your undivided attention. I will be quite happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much indeed, Bajan. And uh, yes, we have we have two or three minutes to go if you would like to ask uh, questions. And then we'll have a minute's silence right at the end just to reflect on what Bajan has said. Bajan, I, I presume that the the procession which takes place uh, in Wolverhampton is one of the largest in yes. Well, sometimes people can expect about 5,000 people because it's a moving procession. It doesn't stop in one place. So people come, join, and leave, and so on. So it's a long, long procession starting all the way to mm -hmm. the route. As a... Um, um... A member of the Wolverhampton community, I would just like to say how much we value the interfaith group and all the work that different um, faith groups do uh, to bring us all together. Yes. So, I'm sorry I don't take as much part as I would like to um, due to other commitments, but uh, we're really grateful in Wolverhampton for all the work that the different communities do to, to bring us all together and to bear witness. Uh, so I'd just like to express my thanks very much indeed. Well, you're right, sir. It's a community cohesion. If you know each other, if people don't know about each other's religion, once they know, they find out there's much more commonalities in religion than their differences. We mm. spend so much time on differences and don't look at the commonalities. And after, if you do that, the better community cohesion, respecting each other and so on. And I think in Wolverhampton, we've been very lucky to have an interfaith group uh, ever since the early 70s. We were yes. one of the first, if not the first, interfaith group in the country. Um, and um, Bajan has been very prominent and much respected within the group. Uh, he has great wisdom and it's been lovely to, to, to know him so long. Um, have you found that the, you, you've come to know other faiths better through interfaith, uh, Wolverhampton, uh, Bajan? Yes, I think, uh, see, until you meet each other, you don't know. You can have your own stereotypes and what have you. Once you meet each other, you learn from each other that how common you are, you see. And like Gurnanji said, before being a Hindu, Muslim, Christian, be human beings. We are all human beings. That's the first thing you see. If you look at our human beings, you don't see this uh, garb and the mask and hobby. Behind the mask, you see there's a human being just like me. And uh, you know these barriers actually stop us from getting to each other. Once we remove these barriers, we learn each other better, we respect each other, and so on. Great. So perhaps we can just finish with a minute's reflection.
Thank you very much, everyone, and thank you, Bajan, very much. I hope to see you on Sunday. On the thank you very much. Yes, most welcome. Please join.